Hey everyone and welcome to another What Sold on eBay video. I am Chris, the Thrift Shop Hustler. If you're new to the channel and you're interested in eBay selling and learning about new items, this is the channel for you. So definitely go down there and click the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications. And anytime there's this video, if you learn something new, click the like button and that definitely helps out the algorithm and helps out the channel. So let's get right into it. Today we have this Randolph Brooks 1965 oil painting this is actually a really cool painting of it looks like some uh, I think those are tangerines and uh, we can see here that it is a smaller piece here now we've talked about art in the past and I've and if I can remember I'll put a, a link up here to uh, some of my art videos you can check those out if you're interested in selling art I will tell you one thing right now Art is one of the things that is going to be the million dollar item that you're going to find in a thrift shop or a garage sale. Uh, nothing else is going to top the prices that you can find art. If you can find a Matisse, an Andy Warhol, a de Kooning, any of that stuff, you know, some of those are going to go for millions of dollars. And art is something that you should probably research. They're very easy to kind of look at. For the most part, there are some tricky parts with art. That's why you can find these kind of things at goodwills and things for a good price because people don't know how to look those up and by the way if you don't know how to look this up we're going to go right into that and uh, right before that definitely go down there and click the like button if you interest, you really are interested in art and stuff like that um, that like button really helps so anyways let's look at this i think we can't zoom in here anyways uh, the name is actually very easily recognizable a lot of art you're going to find sometimes uh, you won't be able to find the name so if you do find the name go to askart.com put in randolph brooks you can see here this information comes here you're going to see some general information one of the things is uh, examples of the work is what you want to look out for because there might be five ten a million different randolph brooks and be different artists and have the different styles so you're going to have to match up the style with the name as we can see here this looks like a table with some fruit obviously if we go back here we got a table with some fruit so we know this is the right randolph brooks now you will come across you know, artists with like Dave Smith is a very common name. I don't know if that's an artist, but, the, you know, for an example, uh, Smith is a very common name. Therefore, there's going to be a million Dave Smith. So that's what you need to do when you go to askart.com. Uh, one of the important things, if you do find your artist here, because there's going to be a lot of artists you will not find in askart.com, it doesn't mean that their work won't sell. It just means that they're not been logged into this database now uh randolph brooks as you can see right here has a, you know some information We've got some auction records four of those signatures three of those uh this important information right here is important to tell you the importance of an artist let's go to andy warhol real quick uh, as you can see here there's seven thousand auction records uh, there's 42 for sale 17 wanted and 50 dealers this is the important information so if you've come across an artist that you've never heard of and you go to the ask art and you see that there's a bunch of stuff in here that means it's a really good artist so just to do some due diligence so if we go back to randolph brooks as we can see here not much going on as far as like the you know the auction records and you know the signatures and all this kind of stuff there's no dealers there's no wanted um, but still do your research, but that's basically how you look up art. It's very easy. Once you do this for long enough, you'll start to get the hang of it. The hardest thing you're going to find is, is sometimes you won't be able to read the artist's signatures. That could be a plus for you if you're good at that, and you might be able to find that million-dollar artwork. Uh, next up, we have this Raisin. raisin We've got some Raisin brand. We've got some ra Ravens. Oh, jeez. Raven's Burger. Let me slow it down a bit. Let me just slow it down. I had some coffee today and I'm just super blah. If you like coffee, definitely go down there and click the like button. I really appreciate that. Anyways, we have this Raven's Burger jigsaw puzzle. This is a very uh, high end jigsaw puzzle. 18,000 pieces. That is crazy. Usually, the higher the number of pieces, the more expensive a puzzle is going to be. Not necessarily, but that's a good thing to look out for. If you see some crazy number, like 18,000 pieces, that is an insane amount of pieces. This sold for $120. Look out for these sealed. These are great for Amazon, FBA. If you want to send those in and not have to worry about it, just check out the sales rank on those. Uh, this was a great sale from Eureka. Huge shout out to Haley in Eureka. A new eBay lister for us. Uh, very excited about what the future brings for her. She's doing great photos here with this wood kind of uh, background. I love it. And so this is a great sale. And this Raven's Burger. Now, I want to put one little caveat here. Uh, for the most part, I think uh, if you try to sell this kind of stuff on Amazon, you're going to be blocked. This is one of those blocked um, companies. So uh, if you, you know, you have to do all the paperwork and all that to get 
ungated in this, so just a heads up, this is going to be an eBay item for sure. Uh, next up is this Laurel Piana, our favorite clothing brand. We got another baby cashmere cardigan style blazer jacket. All the keywords are stuffed right in there, as we can see here. Now, this is the top tier of the Laurel Piana stuff. And as we can look here, it says baby cashmere. Now, the ratings from the sweaters go from cotton blend, cashmere, and baby cashmere being the top line of Laurel Piana. You really want to look out for baby cashmere. Cashmere sells very well also. That's like the middle ground of Laurel Piana as far as the money you're going to get back. But Baby Cashmere, if you can get it for a reasonable price, definitely buy it. It's uh, worth the investment, especially if you can even find these for like $100 or less. You can still make, you know, a couple hundred dollars on these particular sweaters. Just, you know, do all your things. This one has a little bit of pilling. Um, this actually still sold for $199. We did take a best offer on this piece. We had it in for about a couple weeks. And uh, other than the pilling, and I don't mean peeling like a peeling an orange. I mean pilling, like pilling of like the knotted little, um, as you can see here, some of that. And it actually, you know, I should probably invest in a shaver. You can actually buy a little shaver that can that shaves those off. And so you don't have to deal with that. But that's just basically you know, rub from, you know, rubbing the sleeves against the side there. That will basically uh, create that. So definitely look out for Laurel Piana. It is a bolo brand. It is our number one bolo brand here on the channel. So definitely look out for that. Uh, next up is Bulk Legos. Now I have a Lego video. It's kind of old, but it still actually does very well. I'm going to put a link up to the top there if you're interested in, in selling Lego. And it's not Legos with an S, it's Lego. Uh, the plural of Lego is Lego. I don't say Legos because you'll just piss off all the Lego nerds out there and you don't want to do that. Uh, but anyways, this is a Lego Friends. It's kind of the lower end of Legos. I just said Legos, so I'm going to get hate mail now. Um, so basically, Lego Friends is basically like the girls kind of Lego stuff. They did this kind of like pink and purples and, you know, light blues and things like that. And uh, they don't really sell very well. They They have their own unique figures, which I don't have any figures, I don't think, in this one. Um, I think I pulled all the minifigures for a different lot for next time. Um, they have different figures than a normal Lego figure, so that maybe add to a little bit about it, why these don't sell very well, but I do part out the, the figures in a separate auction. But anyways, this sold for a total of $107. This had 32 bids. Uh, you look out for bulk Legos. They're out there. People throw them away, you know, toss them, sell them for cheap. People just want to get rid of them. Uh, these were even dusty and dirty. Now, there's a whole thing about cleaning these. Uh, maybe we'll do another video about that. That is a crazy process. I don't know if most people are going to want to deal with that. I usually just list these and sell, say that they're uh, used and dusty, as we can see up here, lose, used and dusty. No major play wear. Um, like I said, these were very well taken care of. They basically were just display pieces. They just were sitting around for so long. And uh, someone decided to donate them, and we would gladly list them. Uh, like I said, uh, this actually had a uh, $9.99 shipping on that, which is a little low, and that's a little bit my fault, but that's okay. We're using UPS, and uh, they actually take very good care of us on that end, so that should be not a problem. But definitely look out for LEGO stuff and check out my video that I posted a few minutes ago. Uh, next up, we have this Houston Liu Liu art glass. This is a Johnny Cash gu guitar. Uh, Johnny Cash, excuse me, I'm still getting a little bit... Uh, you know, going too quick here, as we can see here, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's a huge kind of like tile thing. This is a, a spirit tile. I don't, I, you know what? I, I don't know anything about this. I've never seen these before. I know that certain tiles actually can go for a lot of money. We talked about that before, and I will be doing a video on tiles. Uh, it's one of those Bolo brands that you probably should be uh, looking out for, or, or categories, I should say. Uh, there's some really expensive tiles out there. And if you want to see a video on tiles, Definitely leave a comment below and let me know that, hey, I want to know about tiles. Those that sounds interesting. Some of them go for hundreds of dollars. Anyways, this sold for $89.99 or $95, whatever. And uh, this still sold, like I said, I've never heard of these spirit tiles before. So if you want to take a, a dive into those, I might take a dive into those and just do a little bit of research on this. And it's a great sale from Pleasanton, California. Good job out there, guys and gals. Uh, next up is this Oyster. Oyster? Oyster? Is it Oyster? No, I guess it wouldn't be Oyster. It's Oyster, right? Red Professional Popcorn Theater thing. This is sold for 50 bucks with a $19.99 shipping, so that was a pretty good price on the shipping there. Uh, shout out to Paula. Good job, Paula, selling this. Um, brand new in package. 
And uh, this is very popular with the with the young adults and kids these days. They love this kind of stuff, especially if you have a, a home theater in your house. You know, this is a great little accessory to have in your man cave slash home theater thing. Uh, look out for this kind of stuff. Definitely scan these. Check out to see if you know what's going on on eBay. Not eBay. Amazon. You know, these things might go for a little bit more on Amazon. Might be able to squeeze some profits. And a huge shout out to Amazon. Uh, doing some great stuff over there with FBA. Uh, definitely look at both places, eBay and Amazon. If you're in doing Macari and things like that, take a look over there. But usually you want to look at e eBay and Amazon to see what's going for more to squeeze out a little bit more profits on that. Uh, next up is this My Little Pony. This was actually probably one of the buys of the week. So if you do some retail online arbitrage, definitely check out our store, American Cancer Society. Someone got a great deal on this. Just a shy bit over $20 for this whole thing shipped. Um, I'm sure some of these vintage My Little Ponies could have sold for uh, $10 a piece. So, you know, a little bit of good online arbitrage. Maybe this is going to a collector. Maybe this is going to a reseller. I don't know, but we have good deals over there. So definitely go and check it out. We have a lot of our auctions starting at $9.99. You definitely want to go over there and look. I got a link somewhere. You might have to go look for it on eBay. You're going to have to do a little bit of work on that because I don't think I put the links down there in the b below anymore. You know, I have to do a little bit of things like that but my little pony g1 so you say what the hell are these things chris i was born in the 80s i'm a millennial i don't know anything about this stuff well if you look underneath it you can see here made in china there's also made in hong kong as you can see it says Hasbro. i think this one says 1987 or 1986 i think i took a picture of one of the hong kong ones uh there's a hong kong one and this one's very uh, legible here we can see 1985 Hasbro Bradley these are the ones you definitely want to look out for the 1985 Hong Kong's I think this is a G1 which represents generation one if you're any, into the ponies uh, they're easily looked up as you can see there's some roller skates back there so you just want to type in that keyword and uh, like I said this is in used condition you can take some magic eraser to this and clean it up very well just understand that once you use magic eraser on anything it actually will buff out any glossy finish so something like this that's matte finish would be a good idea with the magic eraser uh, this little dot down here on the leg that's not going to come out that's usually like a little uh, looks like a little pin prick and what happens is the the ink or whatever gets underneath there and that's not going to buff out but you know you could do redo the hair restyle the hair you know use magic eraser to buff this whole thing out you could probably sell this thing for like 15 bucks alone uh, just this one. So My Little Ponies, definitely look out for these. Uh, there's a lot of newer ones that aren't really worth much, but uh, this older stuff is definitely one to look out for. Oh, and a new, huge shout out. Also, some learning experience here for you guys. Uh, there is knockoff ones. This is from Remco. Remco did some knockoff stuff in 1982. 1982, that's a weird thing. I thought G1 was 1985. Anyways, I'll have to do some more research on this. Maybe, this, maybe My Little Pony ripped off Remco. Wouldn't that be a thing? I got to do some more research on that. Uh, but anyways, I, I thought the My Little Ponies came out before the knockoffs. See, see now I'm even learning. I'm going to have to go back and look at that. Because uh, I thought the My Little Pony G1s were 1985. So I'm going to have to go take a little bit of a step back there and look. Either that or Remco just put 1982 just to kind of throw everything off. So like, oh, look, we're not ripping off My Little Ponies. We made this in 1982. I guess you can put a million dollars on a turd. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to sell for a million dollars. That's my favorite quote. I made that one up. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so, yeah, so look out for Remco stuff. If you see, like, oh, my God, My Little Pony is 1982. I'm going to be a millionaire. No, these are the knockoff ones, so just look out for those. And you can really tell. I mean, look how knocky, offy these things look. And this could be buffed out and cleaned very easily. And these actually do sell, by the way, if you can find these mint package. Uh, these do still sell, but not as much as the, the higher-end My Little Ponies. But back to the thing. This is a great deal. Congrats to whoever bought this steal of the week. Uh, speaking of steals of the week, this one sold for $9.99 plus $5.99 shipping. I actually thought I thought I'd charge $9.99 shipping, so this is actually a really good sale, too. Um, we sell pops. We start them at $9.99. We usually lot them up, so uh, we actually take very good care of these. You know, if they're damaged, we'll let you know. I think one of these had, like, a little bit of a ding corner. Where did I show? I think I showed that photo. Uh, maybe that was another lot. You know what? I think that was another lot. Anyways, uh, this, you know, Pops, we've talked about Pops before. Uh, I'll put a link to the video up above if I can remember uh, about my Pops. So if you want to look out that, uh, Pops are really easy to look up. Just look up the name, look up that number in the top corner. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, the profits will hit in your bank account soon. Once again, I'm Chris with Our Shop Puzzler. If you enjoyed this stuff, definitely go down there and click the like button. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite thing here was. 
And uh, if you're new to the channel, definitely click the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications, and we'll see you next time. Take care.